get a little energy and juice moving here. Yeah, give a hello and where you're from. Hi, it's Sharon. Hey, everybody. Hello. Welcome, 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 welcome. It's a break All right. <laughs> Just a little juice there to kind of get us going, you know? All right. All right, I love so, it. Hello and welcome to Monday Night Intentional Mentoring Call. I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Peter Wolfing. I'm Victor Grant. I'm going to be your co-host tonight. Over the past two decades, Peter has developed many online platforms and has attracted a membership base of over 2 million people around the globe. He's mentored countless people, many of whom have gone on to develop six- and seven-figure incomes. Our special guest tonight, Dr. Stan, has been a friend of Peter's for more than nine years, and he is a 10th degree black belt. Tonight's topic is about the mindset of martial arts. And I'm also a martial artist, Aikido and Taekwondo. So it's going to be a really awesome conversation we're going to have. Over to you, Peter. Let's get started. All right. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You know, um, I think uh, Dr. Stan will agree, and everyone that's on here has heard me speak uh, for any length of time. You know I talk about energy. Energy is the number one thing that you need to um, absorb and don't lose because I say that people don't necessarily quit really anything, especially network marketing or affiliate marketing. They just kind of fade away because they lose their view as a sponsor of people. If you know, and if you're in the affiliate space, you as uh, the owner or architect of a product and have customers, you, your job is really to keep them energized, to keep them plugged into whatever you're doing. So primarily, uh, I think people on here are from some of my programs, and uh, those deal directly with the uh, affiliate slash network marketing space because it's really a hybrid of those two. And your job as a world-class sponsor is to keep your people engaged, keep your people plugged in because you want them to stay around long enough to get paid. You want them to stay around long enough so that this way they can – be a generator of their own energy. At the beginning, you in turn are the generator, okay? You in turn have the belief, and if you don't, you should get the belief of myself, Victor. We have plenty to share. Dr. Stan will say, hey, you can borrow my belief. <laughs> um, there's so many different um, you know, ways that you can do that, but you would, as a world-class sponsor, have to find a way to keep them engaged in your business. Because before long, they'll have one excuse not to come on a conference call, a second excuse not to go to a training call, a third excuse not to do this or that or take the product or whatever you're, you're selling. And then eventually they have to take out the cat for a walk, they have to fix the screen door, they have to do whatever, and they're gone. And then they don't answer your phone calls and so on and so on. So you have to protect them from the inevitable naysayers and the negative energy, because life is always a constant battle between positive and negative energy. Your, your brain is always having a constant battle of negative and positive energy in your brain of, of doom and gloom versus positivity and abundance and all of these great things that we talk about. So that is your first goal if you want to be a world-class sponsor. So as soon as someone joins into your business, it is not over. Too many people, they feel that the sale is the ultimate goal. I made the sale, I'm done, next. And okay, good luck, you're on your own, the company will take care of what you, no, not, that's not what network marketing is about. It's about people. And if you don't think it's about people, you're really in the wrong business, right? You, networking is what the word sounds like, networking, it's not net wishing. You in turn are networking with people and it, your business really just starts when you first start talking to people even before they sign up because you're training them the moment you open your mouth or contact them through direct messenger or fax or text or whatever you're doing to contact them. And you're starting to train them. So keep it simple and duplicate whatever your sponsor upline team or company is doing. And simplicity is always the best. Okay, keep everything as simple as possible so it's duplicable to as many people as possible for as long as possible, okay? That is the key thing with duplication. If you can't duplicate it with many people over a long period of time, don't do it, okay? It's going to break down over just a few people, and your group will not multiply on a domestic 
and eventually international level because languages get involved in all sorts of things. Okay? So keep everything as simple as possible. And again, understand that as soon as you're talking to them, you are training them. Okay? Because they're going to do what you do or what you did to um, engage them and transfer the energy of you to them so they can see what you're offering. Because sales is not really, in the traditional sense, what we really think sales is, right? People say, oh, I hate sales. To me, what really sales is, is the transfer of energy. Sales is really me awakening forgotten energy that they had inside of them and getting them to realize that they need to take action. And if they don't, I have the professionalism to say, listen, I don't think this is for you, right? Maybe I can guide you to someone else that I think can, can, that can service you better. And if things change in your life, I hope you think of me. And if I come across something or an article or something that can help you, I'll be sure to send it your way. That's professionalism. And I remember a training that Dr. Stan gave one time, uh, can't remember when, but a long time ago. And he says, hey, you want to you not get rejected? Reject people first. <laughs> right? Reject and sort and sift them first. Because that's what you're really doing. You're becoming a sorting and sifting engine. You're an energy scout. You are looking for energy in people. You're looking for that spark in people's eye. Thomas Edison in the great book, Think and Grow Rich, had a guy come up to him. I can't remember the guy's name. Sorry for, for having a little uh, a blip there in my head. But he came up to him and he was dressed like a, almost like a homeless beggar. But he saw the spark in the guy's eye, and that's what he was looking for because he can teach people. He can teach people that have that spark, but if you come and you already have these uh, preconceived notions and belief systems in your brain that you're, not, you're rigid and you're not willing to throw out some old things and take in some new things and keep room and keep growing in your brain, then you're never going to be able to make it in really anything. So many people, they think that once they've, completed, say, their high school education or, dare I say, uh, part of their degrees and whatever they have in their college education, they spike the ball and they're done. They're done growing and educating themselves. And um, Dr. Stan will give you his uh, lineage as far as education, but, uh, you know, they call him Dr. Stan for a reason. It's an official title. He'll tell you more about that. And growing and having discipline in your life to be able to accomplish what you want to accomplish. And one of my mentors, um, the, the great speaker, John Maxwell, the, the greatest business coach in the world, has written over 105 books on, this, on the subject of leadership. And he says, if you could boil down, when he was asked a question, if you can boil down everything into really one concept, one concept out of all these leadership books that you've written, what would it be? And he said, never underestimate the power of consistency. And that takes discipline and persistence to be able to make that work for you because consistency over time in this business of network marketing, in this business of the affiliate marketing or really anything, whether you want to work out, whether, you're, whether you want to have a world-class relationship or anything like that, takes consistency, persistence, and the willingness to be able to do the best you can all the time. Okay, and grow and grow and grow and get better. And you grow financially, you grow spiritually, you grow mentally, you grow physically in your business and your life as your income grows. Because if it doesn't, what's going to happen is if you have a spike in income, you're going to lose it. Just like the lottery effect, when people win the lottery, what happens to many people, they lose it because they haven't grown into the money. And the money will always come down and you will sabotage yourself. I've sabotaged myself many times in my life. As I started to generate income, significant income, I would hit a cap and, I, and it's like a lid, right? And I started to sabotage myself because my belief was not to where the money was. My belief was this. You don't deserve that money. Rich people don't do you know, great things with money, <laughs> right? You've, you've never made more than $50 an hour at any point. What do you deserve? That, you know, you, you, this, this is not for you. What, what, do you, what are you doing? And then I started to sabotage myself. And, but the big one was, you're not worthy. That was my big one. You're not worthy. And I had to overcome these things that were pre-programmed 
into my psyche, into my mentalness, and reprogram myself, rewire my brain, so to speak, to be able to accomplish more and more and more in my life. And as a sponsor, to get started, you want to be able to start doing that. Keep plugged into whatever you're doing in your business. Now, as you're doing that, you're starting to learn the system. Now, my big thing is I learned in the Marines, okay, and they did in boot camp, is preparation. They would prepare you for the inevitable battle that would come. Now, we hoped it wouldn't come, but what if it did? If we weren't ready and we didn't go through all these in Marines, 13 weeks of boot camp, and going into the field and, and uh, sleeping at night and, uh, you know, in the rain and, and uh, throwing grenades and all these different things, simulations that we went through, and we, were, we happened to go into battle, what would happen if the bullets and the bombs and the grenades and all sorts of stuff started to go our way? We would be freaked out, and we would run the other way. So I've taken that, and what I, I would suggest you do is when you're getting started and when you want to, um, say, get your people started, is do not make it so rosy that they have unrealistic expectations of income and success. Now, you don't want to be Debbie Downer to them, but you want to prepare them for the slings and arrows that will happen because they will, right? Because if they go out and they start talking to people and it's, oh, it's one of those things and I don't want to get started with that and I heard this about uh, this, this industry and that about this, and they're going to be nuked, <laughs> right? And you'll have uh, people that won't answer your phone call and they'll, they'll all of a sudden, you know, be, be gone because you didn't prepare them. And they're like, oh, my God, this business is hard. And in the email that we sent out, what did I say? What did I write? This is the, this is the easiest, hardest business you'll ever do, or as well as simplest, hardest business you'll ever do. Why? Because it's very, very simple, but it's hard because we're dealing with human nature. We're not digging ditches, right, and doing physical manual labor. It's mental labor. Mental gymnastics, if you will. Mental martial arts, if you will. Now, Dr. Stan's going to come on in just a moment, okay? And he's going to be talking about these different things. And how would you like to be able to be taught by a sensei? That means someone is the master in their craft. Tenth degree black belt. You know what it takes to get to that level? Dedication, persistence, and many, many years, and lots of bumps and bruises, right? In network marketing, what do we do? We have to get lots of bumps and bruises. We have to get rejected. That's like bumps and bruises, right? And the more rejection you go to get, if you grow, as long as you grow and you get better and better at the skills at which you can use and be a great network marketer, you can write your own ticket. If you learned how to crawl when you were a baby, and what do babies do when they first get started? They get lots of bumps and bruises because they're trying to walk and they're bumping their head and bruises and falling down all the time. If you said, hey, this is too tough, you'd be still walking on all fours. But you saw other people, and you started to walk, eventually became a cruiser, and, a, and a, you know, started to run. Now you can sprint, right? Thank God, <laughs> you can sprint. But I venture to say to everyone that part of the, the lesson of learning how to walk was the knowledge that you knew that you were going to get hurt along the way. Part of the lessons of becoming a millionaire or part of the lessons of becoming successful. Maybe there, maybe there isn't a monetary dollar amount successful or whatever. Okay. Is you have to have the knowledge that you're going to get hurt and you're going to get bumps and bruises along the way because success is always uphill always. And in this business, it is simple, but it's hard, but there is nothing out there that can pay you better than what, you, what you're in right now, whatever company you're promoting. As long as you stay with it, you're going to have to work hard anyway. You're going to have to work hard anyway. Why not work in something that can pay you unlimited income for the rest of your life and work from your cell phone or laptop, laptop lifestyle, smartphone lifestyle? Incredible stuff. But it all starts with a mental outlook and your brain first. And that's why we do these calls on Monday night. It's always about mental on Monday night, right? The, the entrepreneur mindset, we call it a Monday night for intentional mentoring. And that's why I love to have Dr. Stan. He, out of the blue, but is it really out of the blue? <laughs> these, these mental, these, these frequencies and vibrations of thought go out into the universe. And I was thinking, you know, what am I going to talk about tonight? I started putting something together. And all of a sudden, bing, Dr. Stan pokes me and says, hey, I got to talk to you. Well, how did, he, how did that happen? Well, I'm going to be short and brief, but 
there's vibrational frequencies and there's there's ways that things go out into the universe and people connect and in another trading that I had I call it the God moment or it's been called the God moment where God whispers to you hey you should call dr. Stan or dr. Stan goes hey you should call Peter up <laughs> and are you gonna listen or you're not gonna listen right <laughs> And, uh, you know, we pray, and that's us speaking to God, and intuition is, has been called God whispering to us. Are we, gonna, are we going to listen, or is it, it going to go, okay, as you wish, off to somebody else? And that's happened so many, are you going to call this person up? Give this person a call. No, no, I'm too, i got to go take the dog out today. No, I'll get to them. I can't call them. They're going to reject me. Well, okay, next, as you wish, and the, and the universe goes, and it goes to somebody else, right? And that's, uh, that's the way it works. But um, so anyway, we can go on for a long, long time about these topics because, you know, I'm very passionate about this stuff. And I want to introduce Dr. Stan Harris. As I said before, nine years together, off and on doing different projects, 10th uh, degree black belt, the Motivational Speaker Hall of Fame. Um, he was also, um, and I didn't even know this, he was endorsed by Les Brown. Does everybody know Les Brown? Probably one of the biggest speakers in the world ever, <laughs> okay, ever, or at least among the top three or four. And he endorsed Dr. Stan Harris. So, Vic, if you can cue up that audio and play that, and then I'll, I'll have Dr. Stan come on. Yeah, I got a special treat for you. So listen to this. One minute, six seconds. Let's rock. I've got the power. <laughs> because of what I learned how to tell my story, Dr. Stan will teach you how to do that. I when I speak in the United States, I earn over $70,000 an hour. I learn how to tell my story and get coachable. When I speak internationally, I get $225,000 an hour. And I'm saying to you, I don't say these things to impress you, but to impress upon you. The kind of leadership that you have, and the movement that you're part of, and the top coach I feel on the planet, Dr. Stan. You can learn how to tell your story, to recruit people, to bring out the best in people, to motivate and inspire people to pursue their greatness. <laughs> All right. Wow. Thank you very much, Victor, for that. My tech guy, my tech guy. Dr. Stan, it's a pleasure to have you on the, the call today. Please work your magic and and let us know a little bit about the mindset that is really necessary for all entrepreneurs to be able to, uh, to make their lives better. And uh, please talk about um, what you share with me today about your 30-day challenge. All right. Well, Peter, it's a privilege and a pleasure, a treat and a treasure, a joy beyond measure to be on this call with you and the powerful leaders. And again, Victor, thank you very much for your technical skills. You know, when Peter and I connected years ago, I said, Peter, you're high tech, I'm high touch. If we work together, we can get a high touch and high tech is a bigger check. <laughs> and uh, a company I worked with, I uh, was an international training director, and I uh, was able to personally sponsor 898 people and eventually blossomed in over, a, uh, over 1 million people uh, in that company. And so, uh, but what I'm going to teach about tonight, just for a few moments, is what allowed that to happen because I'm the guy that never thought it could happen. See, I'm the guy that at three years of age, my dad left, never called, never sent mom a dime. I'm the guy that at six years of age was out in the middle of the field playing and a gang of teenagers came my way. I don't know if you've ever been where you had your body give you signals that something bad's going to happen and something bad did happen. They grabbed me, they beat me up. Now imagine I'm a six-year-old boy in the ghettos of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and here's these teenagers and, and they beat me up and literally picked me up, slammed me on the ground, start stomping all over me like my aunt or a roach. They kick all over me. I'm bleeding from everywhere you can bleed. You would think that was enough. That wasn't enough. One of them flipped me over while I was laying on my back face up. They poured a bucket of tar in my face, on my body, took a bunch of feathers. They threw them on me, and they left me there literally in the middle of a field. Literally, I could have died. I was crying, screaming for help. Of course, you know, of course, crying for my mom, crying for help. And eventually, somebody found me, rushed me to the hospital. But I don't have a whole lot of time tonight, but I went through verbal abuse and 
physical abuse. I mean, I've been beat with a choker chain, still choker chain for a dog, and a fiberglass bow and arrow set by one of my mom's boyfriends. Um, sexual abuse. I mean, just my life was a mess. Trying to commit suicide on two occasions before I was 12 years of age. I always say to people, I'm so glad I failed, by the way, because <laughs> now I'm living beyond my wildest imagination. But I said all that to say, when I, when I got jumped, when I got beat by that teenage gang, when, I, when they tarred and feathered me, left me on the field, my little six-year-old mind at least responded this way. I want to learn how to protect myself so the next time somebody tries to jump me, I can protect myself. And not it amazing how the mind, I mean, so, so this is my mind. But watch how powerful the mind, and I didn't understand back then, but watch how powerful the mind is. I made this decision, I'm going to learn how to protect myself. My mother wins a free month of karate lesson, Shotokan karate. And, and, and there's five of us now, five boys, it was four at the time, and uh, out of all my brothers, none of them were interested in going with her. I went with my mother and watched. They were kicking, chopping, screaming, hollering. I thought, man, that's, that's, this is, is incredible. And Victor mentioned he's a martial artist, so he understands what I'm speaking about. And so I'm watching with, with great, you know, anticipation. I'm watching with, 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 in awe, and after her month runs out, she starts paying. You know, free is good, but when you're serious, you're willing to invest something. <laughs> you know, Peter, I found out years ago that, 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 that people pay little or no attention to what they pay nothing for. They pay a little more attention to what they pay a little more for, and they pay a lot of attention to what they pay a lot for. Well, Mama started every month paying, and she got better and better and better until one month she got too good. Now, you say, what in the world's too good? Well, her and her boyfriend got in the fight, and my mama knocked him out. <laughs> I mean, when I, when I saw my five-foot-one mom knock out a six-foot-one guy, and the guy's laying on the ground, I said to my brother Ronald, Ronald said to Lonnie, and Lonnie said to Keith, we all looked at the guy on the ground, we said, man, whatever you do, don't mess with my mama, man. My mama's bad. Mama's bad. <laughs> but it dawned on me, if the martial arts could do that for my mother, I think, this is my ticket. This is how I'm going to learn how to protect myself. And so I, I wanted to learn how to fight self-defense, but I said, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. And I was like, like what's wrong? They said, well, we can't just teach you self-defense. We, we have to also teach you, more importantly, self-discipline. I was like, no, no, no. I, want, I just want self-defense. No, no. If we teach you self-discipline, I mean, if we teach you self-defense and don't teach you self-discipline, you'll be like an uncontrollable weapon. So, so no, we, we, we'll only teach you self-defense if we teach you self-discipline. I was like, you know what? I want to learn self-defense so bad. Whatever else you've got to teach me, I'll do it. But yet, it was the self-discipline that literally changed my life. You know, in the martial arts, we have a slogan, if while you practice, you don't want to quit, you haven't really practiced, meaning you have to push your body to it once to quit, and the wheel says, no, you keep going. Matter of fact, if you've seen the Bruce Lee movie, Enter the Dragon, you probably remember when, when, when Han made this statement, we forge our bodies on the fires of our wheels. Man, that's good. You ought to write that down. We forge our bodies on the fires of our will, meaning that, that the will is used to control and form the body. And so here's what I want to add, though. We forge our bodies on the fires of our will, but our will is formed by the mastering of our mind. Oh, that one's good right there. That's the Dr. Breakthrough version. See, here's what I'm saying, my friend. What I'm saying is, as when they taught me these principles in the martial arts, I didn't know it was going to affect other areas of my life. I had no idea. But here's what I want you to understand that I never would have been able to work with one company where I was able to build a team of 13,000 people. My beautiful wife, I, my wife Nadia, I call her my ABCD. That stands for Adorable Brown Caramel Delight. I like to say she's eye candy, brain food, and spiritual refreshment in one package. But, but we were able to build a team. They had me as their international training director. I built a team of 13,000 people. And then uh, another company we worked with built a team. They had me as their training director and sent me on the tour of speaking and I just invited people to hear me to speak, and the people would say, are you in the deal? And so the, the master distributor had put a spot in for me, and so he would say, Doc, you just sent them to me. And so make a long story short, um, the checks got so big, I said, hey, Dave, what I got to do to get a bigger check? And I started building it, 
and I built a team of 22,000 people in five and a half months. For that company, I was earning $25,000 a week at six figures a month. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. The guy I was before, I didn't even think I'd make it out of high school. The guy I was before, like Peter said, self-sabotage, I would always talk myself out of things. I'm not good. I don't deserve it. You know, it, it, you know it's not, it's not going to happen for me. But after years of understanding that if I could hone and control my body, I could also do the same thing with my mind. And so in this industry, we call it self-development. You know, I've traveled and spoken with Jim Rohn. We shared the state several times. And Jim's the one that made the statement famous. You know, a formal education will help you make a living. And I was blessed by the way to go on and have to start learning discipline, not just make it out of high school, which I thought I never would, end up going to college and graduating top of my class and becoming a college professor. And, I mean, uh, just incredible what the mind can do when it's conditioned properly. You know, I'll be speaking for Zig. Of course, he's gone now, but I'll be speaking. I've spoken for him with him, but now uh, the staff, they contact me. I'll be speaking for them in another week or so, um, of course, digitally online, right? <laughs> but, but, but all these great things, you know, that, that I've been able to do, and I'm sitting here in my trophy room with over 100 trophies, and I've probably got another 100 in the garage, and we just, like, you know, my wife's like, babe, just too many. It's just too many. So, okay. And, and these different awards and different, you know, things. And, and none of this, listen, none of this would be possible if it wasn't for something that, I, that, that, that got a hold of me, and that is this. The physical abuse was bad, the racial abuse, the sexual abuse, the being tarred and all that was terrible. But you know what I found out? None of that was as terrible as what my own mind was doing to me. The old African proverb, if there's no enemy within, the enemy without can do you no harm. Well, guess what? I found out I was my worst energy. You know, Peter talking about self-sabotage. Most people, that's what they do. And right now, the coronavirus, you know, people losing incomes, uh, Matter of fact, I lost four income streams. Now, because of the principles I'm going to talk to you about and teach you, not only did I replace four, I replaced the four with six, just in case, right? So, so what I'm saying, though, is this. There was a time, though, I would have just collapsed and get, given in. It was like, man, I just can't handle this. But, but COVID-19 has affected a lot of people's lives, affected them financially. Some people lost their finances, lost their hope, lost some loved ones, and even now with the racial tensions and, and a lot of the, the, the hatred and bickering back and forth, you know, politically and, and, our, and our world's changed and people are like, you know, will it ever be back to normal? Most people are like, no, it won't. And so, 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 I mean, domestic violence is higher than ever before. And so people mentally are messed up. Well, think about this. Haven't you taken your car in to get a tune-up? Of course. Haven't you been to a chiropractor, most of us, to get an adjustment? Well, how come no one ever talked to us about adjusting our minds? So, again, the book Think and Grow Rich that's produced more millionaires than any other in business book, well, it came from really one scripture as a man, Proverbs 23, as a man thinketh, verse 7, in his heart, so is he. And the word man is mankind, that's male, female. As a matter of fact, Allen wrote a powerful book, As a Man Thinketh, from the same thing. But here's what I'm saying. What I'm saying is this, my friend. The difference between those who are massively successful and those who aren't, the successful ones have learned to start mastering their mind. It's called a mindset. They've developed a different type of mindset. And a lot of times it starts with mentors. You know, and it's so funny that Peter mentioned the mentor. See, it, it starts with mentors. So mentors, by the way, are the fastest, easiest, most reliable way of mastering any skill. Socrates mentored Plato, and Plato mentored Aristotle. It was Aristotle who mentored Alexander the Great, and then Andrew Carnegie mentored Napoleon Hill. Napoleon Hill mentored W. Clement Stone, and then W. Clement Stone mentored Jack Canfield, who co-authored the billion-dollar book series Chicken Soup for the Soul, and he and I have shared the platforms several times. Benjamin Graham mentored Warren Buffett, and, of course, Warren Buffett has mentored Williams, uh, Millions. It was Dr. Benjamin Mays who mentored a young Dr. MLK, and Dr. Martin Luther King, of course, before he was assassinated, mentored millions. It was Bill Bailey who mentored Les Brown, and Les Brown mentored millions and one time spoke to 80,000 people in the Atlanta Georgia Dome. Bill Bailey also mentored Jim Rohn, 
in the early days. And Jim Rohn, of course, mentored millions, and he mentored a little guy. You may have heard of his name, Tony Robbins. <laughs> and Tony has mentored tens of millions. I mean, even in the Bible, Moses mentored Joshua. Joshua mentored the three million Israelites. And then Elijah mentored a guy named Elisha. Elisha mentored a widow woman who lost her Her husband was about to lose her children to the debtors, and he helped her to start a home-based business. <laughs> it was Ananias who mentored Paul, and then Paul who mentored young Timothy, and then Jesus mentored the disciples. And he said something very powerful. He said, the works that I do shall you do also in greater works than these, meaning the mentee not just has the potential of doing what a mentor has done, but the mentee has the potential of doubling what a mentor has done. So here's what I tell people. If you believe like I believe and do like I do, what happens for me could happen for you. But because I'm not the standard, it can happen even better for you. And that's my desire. That's my prayer. And, and Peter's the same way and Victor's the same way. And listen, my friend, and so you have been exposed to this information tonight. It is, it is one, of my, one of my mentors said, you know, coincidence is God's way of remaining anonymous. Well, I've launched, I've launched this new program and show you how powerful the mind is. Because I decided, because I was getting beat up mentally, you know, martial arts taught me self-defense to start working on my mind. And so that, I was able to start defending myself. But, you know, I've learned that I had to keep continuing and mastering. Somebody said, if you use it or lose it. And today we're in a world that has a lot of amusement. Ah means no, muse, think. Um, amusement means no think. And the more we're being amused, the less we're using our minds. And the less we're using our minds, the more our minds now are controlling us. And so listen carefully. It's called mental martial arts. <laughs> mental martial arts. You think you thought MMA was mixed martial arts. Well, yeah, but really MMA is mental martial arts, and I would like to be some of your mental mentors, your mental sensei. Now, as Peter mentioned, I'm one of 110th degree black belts in the world that's, you know, and I've been honored to be voted into the Black Belt Hall of Fame and Motivational Speakers Hall of Fame, but I've had people pay me $5,000 just to fly in. They flew me in to spend an hour or two with them teaching them martial arts because they're like, man, you're a grandmaster. Well, guess what, my friend? And I've been paid as much as $47,000 to speak one hour. By the way, Peter, you get a discount tonight, okay? But anyway, <laughs> seriously, no, watch this. So I, I'm launched this program. It's called, it's called 30 Day MMA. Matter of fact, jot, jot down that website, www30 daymmacom And I'm taking people on a 30-day journey where we're going to journey to the, a better version of ourselves. See, we're first going to work on a makeover. You know, have you ever seen anyone with a makeover, they look better, and when someone looks better, they feel better. When they feel better, they do better. Well, guess what? We're going to help you with, have a mental makeover and then a mental make-under. See, see, more important than the makeover is the make-under. The makeover is the conscious mind. The make-under is the subconscious mind where the self sabotage like a picture I have of a gentleman in a tree on a limb, and he's sawing the limb. You know what's going to happen. He's going to fall. It's like, why is he doing that? Well, like Peter said, we've done, all done that to ourselves. And even now, a lot of you may suffer from, you know, listen, you need to learn some self-defense, mental self-defense, so you can fight off procrastination and fight off making excuses and fight off the blame game and fight off the self-doubt and fight off the limiting beliefs and fight off the depression and fight off the I'm not good enough Fight all that. You've got to defend yourself. See, here's the thing. If you don't understand the use of a thing, abuse is inevitable. And what's happened is we've abused our minds because no one taught us how to use it. And the mind is like a woman that's been abused over and over again. And listen, and finally she says, enough. I had enough. It's your turn now. <laughs> so the mind says, you abuse me by misusing me long enough. I'm going to now misuse and abuse you. And so most people, and again, mental martial arts, learning how to defend yourself against your greatest opponent, that's your undisciplined or subconscious mind. And so every day there's a five- to ten-minute video inside a private Facebook group you get access to. And last Sunday, I came up in prayer. I came up with this idea. I, I told my wife, and she's like, baby, 
that's hot. That, oh, that's going to go. So one of my clients, uh, who's the CEO of her own business, was talking to her that afternoon. She said, and I told her, she said, Dr. Breakthrough, sign me up right now. I want to be the first one to sign up. And my grown son, I'm signing him up. We're going to pay. So whatever the price is, I don't care. I'll pay it. I was like, well, I haven't launched it yet. And then she got me. She said, well, aren't you the guy that always says, if you're waiting for me, you're already late? I was like, oh, okay, I'm launching tomorrow. Now, wait a minute. I forgot. I didn't do any marketing. I forgot. I didn't even have a website. <laughs> but guess what? I then decided if I, if I take a concept on Sunday, launch it on Monday, I would be able to inspire and encourage people that, listen, you, you don't have to wait till you get everything perfect and right. Now, if you're building a bridge, please get it perfect, get it right. But if you're building a business, building a life, write this down. You don't have to get it right. You just have to get it going. And once you get it going, God will help you to get it right. So I said, I'm going to, I made it my intention. I'm going to start Monday. And I said, I want to, by next Monday, I want to have 100 students. So I'm going to cut the price from $397. Even that's a crazy discount. But we're going to do tonight something crazy, 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 93% discount. What is that? A 90, that's $30. Wait, 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 wait. Are you saying, are you saying, Dr. Breakthrough, you'd be willing to teach me mental martial arts, become my sensei for just $30 for 30, a dollar a day? That's what I'm saying. But I got good news and bad news. They were, okay, well, the good news is I'm willing to teach you, at least 16 of you. The bad news is, because I've only got 16 spots that I can do that for $30, and the bad news is at midnight tonight, that offer goes away, and then it goes to the 397. So you have to be a kind of person that makes decisions like right away. And I don't know what kind of hard decision that is to spend $30 to be mentored by a 10th degree black belt in mental martial arts. And so, my friend, this is what I want to say to you. I want to say to you like Benjamin Franklin. He said, empty your wallet into your mind, and your mind will fill your wallet. Les Brown and I were speaking in the U.K., and he said this. I, he spoke first, and then I spoke, and he said this. He said, information costs, but it pays for itself 10 times over. I was like, wow, that's powerful. Now, what Dr. Breakthrough says, what you put in your head that affects your heart determines what comes to your hand. And if you want more coming to your hand, and I'm sure everybody on this line wants more coming to your hand, you've got to learn to put more in your head that affects your heart. See, Peter said it so powerfully. And let me put it in a little different way, and that is, if your money grows before you do, it'll have to shrink back down to where you are. Let me say it again. If your money grows before you and your mind does, it'll have to shrink back down. So you, we've got to help to grow your mind, to exercise your mind, and I would, I'd be honored to be your mental mentor. I'd be honored to be your mentor. Sensei. Sensei is a Japanese word for teacher or instructor. And so, my friend, it's going to be 35 to 10 minutes. Now, we're actually on day eight today already, and so, but it's, the videos are available. You can watch it anytime. And so I would like for you to get involved. Now, I'm going to give you two things. A 24-7 information line is four minutes, 24-7. So write this down, please. Somebody said note takers or money makers. And Dr. Breakthrough says, and action takers are bigger money makers. <laughs> so write the number down, 646, as I come to a close, 646-653-1816. 646-653-1816. 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6. And, of course, that's a U, so it's a U.S., so you'd have to dial 001, I think, if you're outside the U.S. And then, again, the website, www.30day30day. MMA.com, 30daymma.com. So 16 of you are going to be blessed to be that, and I apologize. You say, how do I know if I made it in time? Well, if you go to the website and click and it says $30, you made it in time. If you go to the website and click and it says $397, well, you're still getting a good deal, but you didn't get the crazy 93% deal, the Peter Wolfing discount. <laughs> All right? So if I were you, I'd move right now. I'd start ordering right now because I wouldn't let grass grow underneath my feet. Obviously, one of the reasons I'm giving you such a crazy discount is when I put this in my membership site because I'm building it as I fly. So, so here's what I want you to think. I came up with the concept on Sunday. I launched it on Monday. 
We've got 86 students as of the so – my intention was to have 100 or more by midnight Central Standard Time, which is today. So in prayer this morning, and I was praying, and I, and I got done, I'm meditating, I'm thinking, and I said, now, what can I do to ensure these – I, I, I would just like that because I said that's what I want to do. And the students, I talked to them, and I thought, and we all agreed, we would like to have 100. Let's have 100 because – from these, we're going to get testimonials and so forth. And so we all agree. Let's do 100. Let's make sure it's 100. So we actually had a couple that gifted it to someone else. Matter of fact, I had a lady that gifted it to five different people. She said, look, we all work together. I want to make sure they got the right kind of mindset, right? Like Zig said, people suffer from stinking thinking. So they need to check up from the neck up. So we're going to help you to have possi- not just possibility thinking, powerful thinking, but profitable thinking. I posted on Facebook today. The, the type of thinking that got me where I am or caused me to be where I am is not the kind of thinking that will get me to where I need to be. Hence, I need a breakthrough to learn another type of thought process. That's what this is all about, my friend. So right now, going over to www.30day, three, excuse me, 30daymma.com, 30daymma.com. And uh, let's work together, um, and let's change lives. Now, I'm just going to tell you up front, there's no upsell. There's no side sale. There's no – and I'm not against it. I mean, I'm for it. I'm just telling you, but it is that new. So if anything else, I want you to pick up on that principle. Here's a guy that came up with an idea one day, launched it the next day, <laughs> right? And I believe, by the way, we'll have million, a million students. My goal and objective is to have a million students by the way, somebody signing up already, a million students by 2024 or sooner, and would you be one of those millions? So Gerald, uh, Scam, S-C-A-M-U-F-F-A, Gerald Scamfa, okay, and Samantha, Samantha uh, Sheepers. Anyway, congratulations for taking, taking uh, immediate action. So Peter, can I close out? You know, uh, one of the, I called Les Brown's phone not long ago, and he said, it's Dr. Breakthrough Center. So I told him, so man, you quote me, I'm going to quote you. Is it okay if I close out with the thing that, that Les always says that people love to hear? Yeah, go for it. Is that okay? So if, he says this, if you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for it, to work day and night for it, to give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for it, if all that you dream and scheme is about it and life seems useless and worthless without it, if you gladly sweat for it and fret for it and plan for it and lose all your care of the opposition for it, you simply go after that thing that you want with all of your capacity, strength, and sagacity, faith, hope, confidence, and stern pertinacity. If neither cold, poverty, famish, or cough, sickness, or body or brain can keep you away from the thing that you want, if dogged and grim you beseech and beset it, with the help of Almighty God, Dr. Breakthrough, in this new MMA program, you can get it. So my friend, don't cheat yourself. You deserve the best. Go to www30. 30daymma.com and let your friends know about it. Say, man, you want to be one of those 16 before it goes back to the original price. Well, I trust the folks have gotten some value, Peter, tonight. And thank you, Peter and Victor. Appreciate uh, being part of this incredible call. Hey, Dr. Stan, thank you so much. That, was that wow. inspiring or what, guys? That's incredible. What do you think, Victor? Wow. <laughs> you know, I wanted to ask uh, a quick question here. Sure. Uh, did you speak at one of the Jim Rohn events? It was one of the last events that Jim gave before he passed away. It was like in Los Angeles, I think. Years, years ago. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, I've spoken on the stage with Jim many, uh, several times. And um, matter of fact. Because um, I remember you. I think I remember you. We met at this Jim Rohn event. <laughs> it, was, wow. it must have been at least 10 years ago or more. But it was, uh, okay, it was in yeah. Los Angeles, and, uh, right. and you, you seem very, very familiar. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was wow. at one of the last Jim Rohn events before he passed away. So. Mm. Wow. As a matter of fact, yeah. you know, Bill, Bill Bailey, who mentored Jim in the early days, and Bill Bailey, Jim Rohn, and myself, that we all got to speak uh, together at a, at a spiritual retreat. And I got a picture of us. They, they wanted to drive to um, – uh, see, Old Faithful, and it was an a eight-hour drive, or both ways. And so, you know, you heard of driving Mrs. Daisy while I was driving Miss Jim Rohn, and 
and Bill Bailey. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, we had an incredible, incredible, incredible conversation. So, uh, but yes, uh, but man, I pre- I appreciate the that and uh, and so you understanding the martial arts. Uh, you know, they taught us it's it's not it's more mental than physical. You know, so I used to see people oh, yeah. breaking boards and bricks and all that. And I'm thinking I can never do that stuff. Right now, I do all the <laughs> laying on the nail, all that kind of stuff. But but it's a mind thing. And so so if I can mentor some people, and again, we're just going to go on a journey, one step at a time. 30 days, it's like I posted today, Victor, on my, or, or, or a couple of days ago, excuse me, on Facebook. If you think you know me based on a year ago, let me reintroduce myself because my growth game is so strong. <laughs> a Rolling Stones song just came uh, to mind. <laughs> I might have to pull that one now. <laughs> That's a good one, Victor. Yeah, let me reintroduce myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it, it, Peter, is it is it a gift of thing if we have a question or two or see if some somebody might have a question or or just let's close it out. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, if anyone has a question, please star six your line. That'll unmute your line and just uh please speak up, let us know who you are and uh where you're calling from and please ask away. By the way, I had a powerful woman who signed up the other day and she said I got an email from Peter Wolfing about mental martial arts, and she's like, oh, my goodness, he stole Dr. Breakthrough's program. <laughs> she, said, she, opened it up, she said, oh, wait a minute, oh, we got a special guest. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm thinking is uh, we're going to be streaming this tomorrow on YouTube, and then we're going to be promoting it a little bit longer and wider. Uh, is there any mm. chance you could make a coupon code for our team so that uh, it's not limited to just 16 people? Hmm. Okay. Or let's uh, talk about it me, tomorrow because that's 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 our forte. We always like issuing coupon codes because that way you can keep track of, you know. Right. 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 Okay. Because um, you know I, you I, might be I, getting I, I, people from Facebook, but yeah, let's talk right. about it tomorrow. So Victor. So yeah. So Victor, I would normally say no because I set my intention on that and and uh, to be integrity to say you know hey if I said midnight to close it is. However, Peter and I have a history. And as a matter of fact, Peter, wait a minute, Peter, you can testify to the fact. So, so I, you know, I had a crazy downturn in my business. And at one point when Peter and I met, uh, I think we, I don't know if we, when we first met, but he actually, he actually fronted to put me in the business. Uh, it, it, you remember that, Peter? Yeah, that was over in uh, Florida, Pops of Florida. Yeah, in Florida. Right, right. Yeah, we were, we were there. And uh, so... So watch this. That same business, by the way, is the, is the business that, you know, one day in that business, I made $22,000 in one day. See, here's what you've got to understand. When you've got the right mindset, then yeah. a setback ends up being a setup for comeback, like my good friend Willie yeah. Jolly says. And I say a setback pays away for comebacks. So because of my history with Peter, I will only make an uh, uh, um, exception for Peter and because Victor, you're a martial artist, so so we'll we'll figure out something. But nobody, it's got to be somebody coming through your group, and that'll be it, okay? Because I want to stay with yeah. the integrity of. Uh, but but again, Peter, Peter came to a rescue at a time, and um, you know, and said, "Hey, man, let me, you know, you know, I want to do something. Put you, let me, you know, get started." He had me as his international training director. Put my materials in his back office, and um, and man, that thing, that thing. Went sky high, Peter. <laughs> we had some fun, man. Okay, any questions? All right. Again, anyone have any questions, please hit star six, and that will unmute your line. And please ask away. Dr. Stan's here for you, or myself or Victor, whoever you like. Well, I have, to, I have a load of questions. Uh, I would like to know is uh, I do mentoring of other people, and the hardest part I have is getting them to take action on what they said they would do. And the tip that I keep telling them to do is, you know what, just set your mind, start a timer, do, work on it for 15 minutes, and then stop and go hug a tree. You know, go kiss somebody, <laughs> you know, preferably someone you know. <laughs> but, but I can't even get them to do that 15 minutes because they're so distracted. They're so busy into their phones. They're so busy answering their emails, wasting all their time, doing things they shouldn't be doing and not doing the things that Peter and I are telling them to do. So I'm like, I'm telling them, you know what, 
do your 15 minutes and call me later. But have you found any way to get people to pay attention to the things that will actually advance them forward rather than wasting their time? That's my big question, a, a tip, a, something that uh, we could put into practice right away. Yeah, I actually wrote a book, uh, How to Build a Big Team Fast, and that's a book chronicling how I've been blessed to be the top of nine different companies. But one of the things is learning how to spend maximum time with mm-hmm. maximum people and minimal time with minimal people. Now, again, in the eyes of God, everybody is the same, but in my business, yeah. I've got maximum people that are producers and minimal people, you know, uh, who are the needers, right? And the same thing, mm-hmm. you have to learn to spend maximum time on maximal pro- products, projects, excuse me, and minimal time on minimal projects. And the unsuccessful people flip it, right? And so you have, yep. to, you have, to, so, 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 so you have to do that. But then here's, here's, here's what I do. You have to learn to inspect without becoming suspect. So rarely do people do what you expect, but they usually always do what you inspect. But you've got to learn to inspect without becoming suspect, right? So I put uh, different um, things on people. Like, for instance, uh, by the way, uh, let me just say congratulations to Julian Wormsbacher. Uh, her order just came through. And Roy Smith, congratulations, his order just came through. Doug Crow, his order just came through. And, uh, and Gerald, so uh, congratulations on you all. And, uh, and so procrastination, by the way, is one of the biggest things that when people go through this that's a lack of mental discipline. See, mm-hmm. it's a lack of mental discipline. And so one of the things I do is, like I said, by inspecting, and so I'll mention to someone, okay, um, listen, um, when you, like, you, know, you mentioned something about, hey, give me a call once you, you're done with this, but here, here's the way I like to do it is you say, look, I'm going to, uh, if you get this thing done in an hour, and then I've got some, uh, matter of fact, got some special, but I'm going to call you in an hour, and, uh, and, and I got something for you here, but I just want, and I'll make sure that you, you got to taken care of. So they think I'm calling them about this special thing, but I'm actually calling to keep them account, <laughs> hey, keep an account. And then sometimes if they don't, then I say, okay, we're going to, make a, we're going to have a, uh, con- a little uh, agreement between the two. If you don't have this done by such and such a time, then you have to pay me $10 or $20. You, you're going to have to get first infractions 10 next time is 20 next time is 40 and, you know, you get them to agree to it. Mm-hmm. Get them to sign it. Now, listen to this. Get them to sign it. Now, money's on the line now, so they won't be as distracted. <laughs> Does that make sense? Hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, that's um, the a new agent. Uh, that's, that's what we call the new agent sheet that I had described that on the Vertex Live event that we did, the seven-hour event. And if you're having someone sign something, it's just one more layer of getting them to be accountable. Because if they start right. to falter, mm-hmm. you can go back to that and you can say, hey, listen, this is what you agreed to. Let's do it. You know? Yeah. I even had one lady. By the way, I had a lady that gifted um, 10 different people um, with this program. Because she's like, wait a minute. She said, wait a minute. Uh, so, she, she's, so she said, you go to the website. You sign up. And then show me, take me a snapshot of your receipt, and then I'll give you the money. Because she, she wanted to make sure that they were doing, that they had a part in it, right, that they were doing something as well, right? Um, right. But, yeah, but what Peter just said, though, is, 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 is helping people, whether they're signing something, sh- sending you a screenshot of something, doing something. But, get, yeah, they have to have something to do. Uh, but, yes, definitely procrastination, though, that's, that's mentally. And even the distractions, all that's part of the – Again, what I'm talking about, uh, it's, uh, mental self-defense is learning how to defend yourself against your greatest opponent, and that's the undisciplined or subconscious mind. And so uh, those are the things mm-hmm. that we really, people ne- really need work on. So, um, yes, sir. Great stuff. Next question. Or are you going to give me another one? Come on. <laughs> By the way, the style of karate I was in is called Ishinru karate. So my mom was in. Did you ever, did you ever do Aikido? Did you ever do Aikido? I, I, did, I did not, but it's a very fascinating style. I've got friends who have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because w- what I loved about it was it uh, didn't matter whether you were a beginner, intermediate, or you've been advanced practicing for 20 years. Everyone goes through the same discipline at the beginning of the class. Exactly. Forward rolls, yep. forward rolls, backward yeah. rolls, uh, sparring. Wow. Uh, you know, you have to fall. 
And the thing is, is that, you know what? I, I'll just say it on the call, and I love this word. It's my favorite, my favorite phrase, is if you didn't know what you were doing, you got an ass whooping. And when you got the ass whooping, you, got uh, you learn really fast how to do, how to, how to do it. <laughs> well, yeah, there's a difference between yeah, a desire for reward and a fear of loss, right? And that, that fear of... Uh... <laughs> By the way, let me say special congratulations to Jenna Marie Stone, very powerful woman. Uh, but uh, she's got folks on her team, and uh, thus far, they're uh, the people that I call their names up. They're on her team. Yep. So, man, she's doing something right. So special <laughs> shout-out to that powerful woman. And, wow. Uh, by the way, Laura Balbo also just signed up. Congratulations. Um, but anyway, yes. So, and that's the thing, you know, powerful people. And by the way, we, we ought to be able to create, uh, and, and here's what we're talking about here, Victor, we ought to be able to create a powerful peer pressure. You know, peer pressure doesn't have to be bad, but there could be a thing right. where peer pressure causes people to want, you know what I mean, to want to fit in and want to be able to, you know, be in the, in the mix and so forth. And, you know, it's always crazy to me, by the way, when I speak at live events, and I'm hoping we can get back to that really soon, because I've been blessed to speak in all 50 states and 28 countries. But I, and, you know, I had a home-based business. I have one and had one for many years. You know, uh, by the way, I jokingly tell people I was a college professor, and I, and I got started a home-based business. And so they said, man, you can start making more money in a month. You make an entire year. And I thought, how much longer would I have to go to college? They're like, no, no, you don't know college. We'll mentor you. So I said, okay. So when I started yep. making more money in a month than I used to make an entire year, I walked into my boss. And I said, boss, I'm sorry I can't work for you anymore. And he said, doc, why? I said, I got eye trouble. He said, eye trouble? What's wrong with your eye? I said, ah, I can't see myself working for you anymore. That was in 1990, <laughs> and I've been psychologically unemployable ever since, man. I love yeah. the freedom of a home-based business. And you know what goes with that? It's called personal development. You know, I'm always buying four-figure, five-figure uh, coaching programs myself constantly. <laughs> I just mm -hmm. recently did that. Why? Because I'm going to keep getting better and better and better. So when I speak at these events, when I, when I give an offer, the first people to move are usually the top earners. I mean, it's crazy. It's like the ones you think need it the least move first, and the ones that need it the most still sit there. So it's a clue. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you so much. So uh, we're going to we're gonna probably stream this tomorrow and more, more sales will be come in. So uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing okay. how, how many we could drive your way. So, so that's, that's, that's just say, uh, what, what code, Peter, would you like us to create? Um, I would see, say, how about um, the keyword intention? Intention. Intention. Okay. Intention, yeah. Inten that's good. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, intention. Intention. All righty. Mm -hmm. So what I, okay, so we'll, so we'll make sure that they can do that, um, and, uh, and just in case we have any issues with the coupon thing, I'll have them, you know, turn it back on. When, when do you think you'll, you'll, you'll uh, play it or send it? Uh... Uh, the stream will go out uh, tomorrow uh, uh, afternoon tomorrow, or tomorrow morning. But, you know, it takes people a little while to, to, to catch right. on. So what we'll say is what, if we'll have some problems, the coupon will be intention, okay, coupon code. If we have any yep. issues or problems with that, then we'll just, I'll have the guy turn the, just turn it back to the $30 uh, price and um, at, 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 at 11 o'clock tomorrow, uh, 11 o'clock tomorrow, um, set the standard time, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do it that way. But uh, I think you awesome. should be able to have awesome. that, thank that, you so much. that coupon code. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it, man. And, um, yeah, thank you so, so much, anyway. Dr. Sander. This is incredible, yeah. incredible. I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me give no, no, let me Peter, give this, this, is, this is what our students need. I mean, you know, yeah. they, right. like I said, I they all it. need an ass whooping. You know, <laughs> they need a, you remember that workshop? It was that guy. Watch it, watch it. <laughs> hey, by the way, let me let me let, let 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 me give you one more poem though that helps, that helps with this because, like I said, I was so negative. My mind was so negative, and scientists say yeah. eighty three percent of our self talk is negative. I tell people if you would if, if if other people would talk to you the way you talk to yourself, you wouldn't want to be around them. And so, um, yeah, got, true. But it starts in the mind. So, so it's a simple thing. But it says if, it says this: if you think you are beaten, you are. And if you think you dare not, you won't. If you'd like to win but think you can, it's almost 
I sense you won't. If you think you will lose, you've already lost. For this powerful truth we find, success begins with a person's will. It's all a state of mind. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger woman or man. But sooner or later, those who win are those who first think and then know that they can. And here's the catch. Here's the catch. When I first got started in the martial arts, there was a guy named Jeff Washington. That they would have a guy sitting on another guy's shoulder holding a board nine to nine and a half foot in the air. Jeff, mm-hmm. with a vertical leap, not running, a vertical leap would jump up and kick the board and break it. I was, mm. well, I was new at the time, right? And so my, my partner was doing, a was doing a kata, fighting an imaginary opponent. Well, one day we had a demonstration, and, and Jeff didn't make it. My sensei, Japanese word for teacher, instructor, he said, Harris, come here. I said, yes, sir. He said, Jeff couldn't make it. He said, take his place. Go over there and jump up and break that board. I was like, sir? I mean, my first thought was he's crazy. My second thought was he's the master. Maybe he knows something I don't know. And so all of a sudden, watch this now, the thing that I knew I couldn't do, but because my master told me, do it, I was like, well, he must believe I can do it. I know I can, but he believes I can. So I went over there based off his belief, jumped up, threw my foot up. I I used so much, you know, you take everything out of you. I closed my eyes (laughs) and forgot to open them. I threw my foot up, and when I landed, I heard something crack. People were clearing it clapping and cheering, and I looked up, and I was shocked. I was like, oh, I broke it. What? How did I get up that high? How did I do that? And that changed my life when it dawned on me that even when you don't believe, there's somebody else's belief, you can use it like training wheels, and that's what I love doing going around this country, and that's what I'm going to do with this program, my friend. We're going to pump belief into you, and you're going to be able to get what I call a bumblebee breakthrough, and that is aerodynamically it's impossible for the bumblebee to fly, but because he doesn't know that or doesn't believe that, he flies anyway because his body is too big in proportion to his wings. So, so all the experts say is he can't fly, but he flies anyway. And I'm telling you, I don't care what they've told you your whole life. I don't care what your own mind told you, my friend. You are going to break through. You, listen, you, <laughs> if you would have seen what a mess I was, so it doesn't, I'm telling you, hey, congratulations to Sharon Hogan, by the way. She just got her order in, Sharon Hogan. So, again, congratulations to you. Again, action takers, appreciate that. And uh, so thank you, Sharon. And, uh, again, Peter, thank you so much because you were in tune, man. Like I said, I was in prayer, and I got this thought to call Peter. We had, Peter, it's been a while since we talked, right? And so here it is. I, call, I text you this morning, call you this morning, and say, look, I got this new program. I'm going to be closing out tonight. Uh, maybe, you can, maybe you can email this to your list or something. You said, man, I got a call tonight. Little did I know you were thinking, well, hey, I got this call. When am I going to be teaching on? And, uh, and, it was, and it was just a perfect fit. And so that's what I'm telling you, folks, the power of your mind. You just don't understand how powerful it is. So we got to harness that power and then use that power to create some good. And I'm so glad, and hopefully I can be a part of you doing that. And so, again, thank you, Peter. Thank you, Victor. And peace, breakthrough, and divine increase to each and every one of you. I don't know if you understand this, but you're a masterpiece because you're a piece of the master. You're a masterpiece because you're a product of the master. You're a masterpiece because you're the priority of the master. The good book says you're the apple of his eye. And so walk like you know something. (laughs) All righty. And uh, tomorrow we're going to be having our intentional mentoring Zoom with cameras, and we're going to be going through building a website in 10 minutes. I built a website today in 10 minutes from start to finish, and I will show you exactly what I did. I want to challenge myself. Could I sit down and go from scratch, build a brand-new website in 10 minutes? So we're going to be showing you how to do that tomorrow. Uh, Okay, now, Peter, wait. Dr. Harris? But, Peter, you want me to tell you why you did that? Because you believed and you set your intention. So watch this. I, I think Peter right. already knows this, but, but Victor, you the brother like no other. You the master the master <laughs> can't say it no faster. You too strong to be weak, too sweet to be sour. You can't take credit as all God's power. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, poetry, man. I love it. <laughs> no, have actually, fun what inspired me, what inspired me was I was talking with someone 
And she was saying, oh, my gosh, I can't afford to build a website. It's going to take me a year to do that. And I said, you know what, why don't you come to my class, and I'll build one, a site for you right in front of your eyes. And then I said, you know what, I've got to build a new website today anyway. So I just let the recorder running, and I did it from start to finish, 10 minutes. Congratulations. And wow. 10 minutes. Because, you know, but hey, I've been building websites for 20 years. But it's okay. It's still, I've never built one that fast. <laughs> it was so fast. And it looks nice. It's ready to go. So that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow. Uh, and we're going to be talking about how to, you, the thing that I've got to get across to people is the motivation and the mindset is beautiful. But see, when you go to 30 day MMA, you can see that there's some thought into the copywriting, right? I looked at the, I looked at the site. Beautiful website, by the way. Oh, thank you, Sign man. up for your 30-day breakthrough mindset journey. Okay? It has a nice headline, empowering you to transform your mind from being your greatest abuser to your greatest asset. You wrote that. Mm. I can see that someone else didn't wrote that, right? You wrote that, <laughs> right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Other people may have done the little technical stuff on the website, but the soul of the website is from you. You see that? Yes, sir. But so yeah, I try to explain to people. Tube, by the way. Yeah. Looks beautiful, right? Meet Dr. Stan mm -hmm. Harris, Dr. Breakthrough. Hurry, register today. Lesson one, lesson two, lesson three, lesson four, lesson five. Register today. Goes right over to the secure cart. Has PayPal checkout. All right. I'm going to be buying mine right now, right on. I'm going to support you. Wow. <laughs> awesome, man. I'm buying it right here on the call. I get to I get to be a mentor of a I get to be a, a mental mental sensei for an Aikido guy as a jiu-jitsu or Aikido. Aikido, Aikido, Aikido. Aikido. You know it saved yes. it saved my life. It saved me life. Yes. It saved my life in high school. It was not it was not wow. from a combat though. It was from skiing. Because I had a dare. Mm. My high school buddies on the ski team dared me, dared me. To tuck and roll off the top of Squaw Valley, which is a cornice, you're supposed to, you know, it's, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> it was a fresh powder day, and I was going about maybe, you know, very fast from the top of the chair, and I just leaped, and I tucked, and I was sailing through the air, and all of a sudden I realized I'm about 100 feet in the air, almost hit my head on the chairlift going up. And uh, when I landed at the bottom of the hill, I did a whump. My skis popped off, and I started making a snowball. But I remembered the Aikido roll that I've been practicing every single mm. day, every single day, every single day. I would have broke my neck, right? I was moving wow. way too fast, probably like 50 miles an hour. I, I landed about 100 feet, the 100 foot drop into fresh powder, and I made a snowball. Well, anyway, I remember distinctly, I rolled 10 times perfectly, exactly the way my sensei taught me, and then I stood up like an Olympic sport, and I just said, yes, I'm alive. <laughs> wow. And everybody on the chairlift was cheering. <laughs> Immediately, the ski patrol came there, you know, the police. Right? <laughs> and, and they said, they said, you know what? We should cut your lift ticket and arrest you and throw you off this mountain. But that's the craziest <laughs> thing I've ever seen anyone do, ever in the history of this place, just p promise me you'll never do it again and have a nice day. I said, you know what? I'm <laughs> yeah, they said, and they probably alive. said, they told everybody else, don't anybody else do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't everybody else do that. But, but that's so, guys, if you do know. this, for all those people that took action and, and got this course, you will not recognize yourself if you take action for 30 days. Right. You will be totally different after 30 days, totally different, right. unstoppable, right. unbreakable. I'm so, guys, thank I'm you so grateful. much. Um, go and opt in if you haven't already done so to intentionalmentoring.com for all of our updates and uh, for our um, Tuesdays and Thursday Zooms and, of course, our Monday uh, inspirational calls with Intentional Mentoring. And uh, thank yeah. you so much, Dr. Stan. I really appreciate it. Uh, total inspiration for everyone on the call, including myself and Victor. And um, we look forward to uh, seeing you on the 30-Day Challenge. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate you all. Thanks, everybody. Awesome. Hey, thanks, everybody. Thanks, right. Victor. Good night. Okay. Have a good night, everybody. Right. Bye. Hey, Peter. Peter, one more thing. Today, T-G-I-M-M -M is what I call it. T-G-I-M-M. -M. Thank God 
It's Motivational Monday. T G I N M. <laughs> Thank God it's Money Making Monday. T G I M M. Thank God it's Mindset Monday. Come on now. I love that. I came up with that today. I love that. <laughs> All righty. All right, Victor. All righty. We'll see you. Bye-bye. Hey, any chance you could join us tomorrow at 7 Eastern of for the Zoom? Well, of, co- of course there's a chance. Um, yeah, send, send me the info and uh, let's see, 7, yeah, no, we'll, I'll, well, I'll, make, I'll, I'll make time. How's that? We'll make the time. Okay, yeah, just uh, check the email at intentionalmentoring.com and we'll send that out. All righty. And I'll have Peter send you the, the, the info to, to, to join us. That would be great to have you say a few words to the okay. class there. Sure. Well, we can put okay. you on camera then, too. <laughs> awesome, man. Awesome. I'll break a board on camera. How about that? <laughs> there we go. All right. <laughs> God bless everyone. Okay. Thank you for coming out tonight. It's a wrap. And uh, I'm going to put the song back on here just to you know, like, just give it a little bit of a, a closure here. Yeah. Now, I don't know if you know this, but what I did was, I took that song and I mixed it together with, with uh, the, the Mr. Legend, the man, Les Mr. Brown. Legend, Les Brown. Yes, sir. I know that. I picked it up. Yes, sir. And you, could, you, can hear the, you can hear the yeah. two together. Because of what I learned how to tell my story, Dr. Sam will teach you how to do that. I, when I speak in the United States, I earn over $70,000 an hour. I learned how to tell my story and was coachable. When I speak internationally, I get $225,000 an hour. And I'm saying to you, I don't say these things to impress you. But to impress upon you the kind of leadership that you have, the movement that you're part of, and the top coach I feel on the planet, Dr. Stan. You can learn how to tell your story, to recruit people, to bring out the best in people, to motivate and inspire people to pursue their greatness. All you right, send me that's that, the mix. Send me that. Send me that, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you got me over dancing. I got the power. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly right. You're right. You're right, doctor. Uh, I had not completed the order. I had to do one extra step, and then I had uh, processed payments. So now, now the payment's processed. And, and that's the thing. A lot of people don't realize this. Sometimes all you need to do is take a one-minute break, listen to some inspirational music or maybe listen to, uh, you know, an inspirational speaker like someone on this call <laughs> and then take a break from what you're doing and go back to what you're working on and all of a sudden everything comes back together again. And, yes, I will send awesome. you that. <clears throat> awesome. Thank you. Appreciate okay. it. Okay. Thank you, Peter. All right, everybody. Thank you. i see you in the Good night. Time. God bless. Bye-bye.